The Senate's President, Dr. Ahmad Ibrahim Lawan, on Tuesday clarified that the Electoral Act did not provide for electronic transmission of election results as being demanded by a cross-section of Nigerians for 2023 election results. Speaking while contributing to a motion sponsored by Senator Ibrahim Oluregbe, APC Kwara Central on the controversies trailing the February 25 presidential and National Assembly elections, Lawan said that what was passed by the National Assembly was snapping of election results and transferring to the server of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Lawan also said that the courts will be in better position to interpret the law. In the Electoral Act that we passed, there is nothing like electronic transmission. Because transmission is when you vote and it goes to the server. What we have passed, and I can recollect this vividly, because I read that act when it was a bill several times, is to transfer. After all the paperwork that we normally do are done, the agents and everybody there, security, everybody will have the papers. INEC will snap the or scan, will scan or snap the, the result sheet and transfer, transmit or transfer or whatever it is, that whether it is transmit or transfer is that thing that is captured with beavers, the results. And for me, my understanding is if any result, if any result that was captured and sent differs from something gotten somewhere, that, that one is illegal. And only the courts, it's not us here. That can do so. We urge INEC to follow the Electoral Act. And for me, my understanding is, if any result, if any result that was captured and sent differs from something gotten somewhere, that that one is illegal. And only the courts. It's not us here that can do. So we urge INEC to follow the Electoral Act and other laws or their guidelines. That's all. Meanwhile, Dati Baba Hamed, the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, has said that failure to upload election results to INEX IRF portal at the polling unit constitutes a breach of the Electoral Act. He said this during a televised joint press conference with Ifan Yokoa, the vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, on Tuesday, February 28th. Baba Ahmed said that Nigerians need to demand justice for this legal breach. According to him, real peace is the presence of justice. He stated that Nigerians cannot make the jobs of those who want to destroy Nigeria easy. And think they can, in the Eagle Square, disgrace citizen number one, citizen number two, citizen number three, because they have millions of dollars to spend on state governors and they will come out, hold INEC, control INEC, control the security, control the judiciary. That is why they are telling you go to court. People are afraid to mention courts in civilized societies. The moment you mention court, you will say, okay, what do you want? That is the truth of the matter. We are heading, like I told you, when everything is at stake, and right now everything is at stake, my country is at stake. So I'm ready to deploy everything I can within the Constitution, not to let this happen. Baba Hamed also said that although the high-neck professor, Mahmoud Yakubu, is an exalted common civil servant, he has no power to make and break laws. However, he is making laws by deciding to continue with legal breaches. The results collation by INEC has caused confusion and uproar amongst opposition parties and Nigerians. On Tuesday, the Labour Party chairman in River State challenged the state's presidential elections presented from Obio local government area. According to him, the results have been manipulated by the officials in favour of APC. Right, 
Finally, on the news, there have been demonstrations across different states over INEC's lack of transparency and glaring manipulation of election results. Already, protests have erupted in states like Imo, Delta, Abuja, among other states. Some women under the auspices of angry Nigerian women on Tuesday stormed the main road leading to the International Conference Center, venue for the National Coalition of Presidential Election over alleged irregularity. About 4 a.m. on Wednesday, Heineck announced APC presidential candidate Paula Hamed Tunubu as winner of the 2023 presidential elections. The chairman of the occasion, Mahmoud Yakubu, who announced the final result at exactly 4.10 a.m., said after coalition, Tunubu polled about 8,794,726 votes to defeat his opponent. Tunubu Bola Ahmed of the APC, 8,794,726 726. Tinubu Bola Ahmed of the APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Thank you. Okwemi reporting for All News Nigeria.